Hey, happy day. The world is a mess. Wow, I woke up this morning and Russia's invaded the Ukraine. What is going on? I mean, I don't get it. Nobody gets it. What is happening? If you know something that I don't know, comment. Get on this site, comment. Go to rededition.com, comment. Go on YouTube or any one of our dozen platforms, comment. What am I missing here? What are they doing? The Ukraine is a wonderful country and now they're under attack? Really? I gotta say, it's not very nice. And there's everybody, there's everybody with a comment, right? There's everybody, you know it, and come on. Who are these people? Everybody's talking. You got Nancy Pelosi, she's saying that, hey, Biden sanctions are great. Putin's invasion of Ukraine is a total assault on democracy. I guess, but what do you know about democracy, Nancy? Just be quiet now and let things unfold as they do. We gotta see what's happening. Is there a bigger picture here? Is there something else going on? Is there a huge plan? I don't know, nobody knows, but it ain't nice what's going on. Then you got MSNBC. There was a guest on there and said, hey, all of this is Trump's fault. Of course it's Trump's fault. You're kidding me, right? It's been over a year's time since he's been in office and it's Trump's fault. You got a major you know, disaster going on here. It's a catastrophe for all those people, particularly there's people, there's pictures now and videos, people bleeding and cars being blown up and houses being knocked down and buildings being blown up as well. And you got this idiot, this moron saying it's Trump's fault. Oh boy, you know what? The Ukrainian government is telling all of the citizens to be armed, carry a gun, protect yourself and your country. The Canadian government is sending millions of dollars worth of ammunition and guns to the Ukraine. That's admirable. I get that. I think that's wonderful. However, that government, the Canadian government, they're also taking the guns away from their citizens. Hey, you guys can't defend yourselves with the people in the Ukraine. They should be able to. We're going to give them guns. Maybe they're giving the guns that they're confiscating from their own people. Who knows? I mean, it's just a big circle again. Who knows and who can understand all of this nonsense? The Trudeau government continues to run these slick television ads saying, hey, we banned assault weapons. What the heck is an assault weapon? Go to Russia, go to the Ukraine, you'll see a big assault going on with bigger guns than what he's talking about, I gotta say, but this propaganda is designed to make Canadians believe two things. One, gun crime is out of control. And two, is, is that good guys are bad guys. I guess, because you're a good guy, you pass a background check, you're a criminal in waiting, we have a problem with you, the emergency act that Trudeau put into place, I believe, I don't know why he took it back. He, he canceled it. I mean, the Senate, they're in the middle of debating this thing and he canceled it. And he just got the vote days before to say, we can keep it now. And now he canceled it. Another, what's going on? Nobody can understand this kind of stuff, right? I mean, the guy's unbalanced, truly. But anyway, back to the gun thing. I was concerned the Emergency Act would be to uh, declare all legal, legally owned firearms by legal firearm people. A bad thing and start kicking doors down for that. I kind of think that was his next step. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but I gotta say, I mean, uh, there should be a law against these knee-jerk reactions. I, uh, um, well, what a coward uh, these people are. Cowards. Uh, the liberal government, they, they stand up. You can't trust them. How do you trust somebody that changes their mind all of the time? Rigid flexibility, I kind of think. You know what? Our government in Canada, they've turned on us. We are not safe from them. How can you get out of this mess and get rid of the dictators? You know what? We are scared. Canadians are scared. I, I, I mean, that's just nature. Fear is a reaction. Courage is a decision. So decide. I mean, there's a lot of courage going on in the Ukraine right now because they're saying, why are these people attacking us? We have to fight back. Uh, there's a message there for everybody in the world. The other party, other party being the Conservative Party in Canada, they should be able to make a difference, right? But they don't have a leader and they don't have a lot of good ideas. And, and now they're talking about this uh, Jean Charest, Jean Charest, um, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I hope so. He's a former Quebec uh, Premier and ex-leader of the federal Progressive Conservative Party. You know, <laughs> and, and people want him to run for the Conservative Party. If you do that, you're, you're, you know what, he can't lead us out of the wilderness. You have totally messed up the country then. I mean, we have strong support in all provinces, so say the people that are working with him. People will be surprised at the support we receive even in Western Canada. I'll bark like a fox if he has support in Western Canada. He's another Quebec guy, he's an Eastern guy, he's a lawyer, I think. He's certainly a liberal. He was a progressive conservative with a lot of emphasis on the word progressive. Oh boy, the world is a mess in Canada. Keep up, uh, catch up with freedom and stuff. I mean, look to the Ukraine and see what they're doing. Trudeau, I wish he would say, hey, all of you people in the Ukraine, we feel for you, let's bring millions of you into Canada. 
They help build Canada. They're great people, but he won't do that. Why? They're white. That's a problem. He doesn't like white folk much. Ah, I'm going on and on, but I feel so bad. I feel so terrible for these people in the Ukraine. I mean, there's a lot of big guns and big artillery equipment and blah, blah, coming at them, and they're just people. What have they done? Ah, I hope it fixes itself somehow. Anyway, I'll come back tomorrow. We'll have more for you from the right. See ya.